appreciate it. The phone number, 201-332-3484. But it is a moot point to give that number out because every single line is full. And I'm going to rectify that in a matter of moments. I'm going to put a topic on the table now. I was in San Francisco a couple weeks ago. There was a uh, Sharpling and Worcester uh, tribute at the San Francisco Sketch Fest. It really was, uh, really was awesome. Great night. So many awesome uh, people came out, and they were. Uh, it was fun to see all the people and say hi to everybody. We had an awesome night in the hotel. This is the hotel that Sketchfest. They put everybody up in the same hotel. So naturally me. I spent probably 90% of the time there. Cautiously looking around hoping to not run into Pete Holmes. That was that probably took up 90% of my mental and uh, and, uh, and psychological uh real estate. Hoping to not run into this guy after I've teased him on the air. I got no problem with this guy, Pete Holmes. Seems like a perfectly fine guy. He's in charge. I, these are the guys who are in charge. They got to take a little rock throwing from a uh, from a toilet rat like me down here in the in the cellar. I got nothing. They got everything. I got nothing. So I throw a couple rocks. What are you gonna do? Means you're up on top. Peasants throwing rocks at you once in a while. You should be honored to get rocks thrown at you. Means you're winning. <laughs> Mike loves this. So I'm in the hotel trying to avoid trying to avoid uh trying to avoid uh, running into Pete Holmes or other people who I've made fun of for that matter. And it becomes apparent to me, I get on the elevator once. Who's on the elevator? There's this lady next to me. And I'm like, oh my goodness. I'm in the elevator with Patti Smith. And I'm like, goodness gracious. I can't believe this. I'm with Patti Smith in the elevator. And I I, I, I tell everybody. And never guess who I was in the elevator with. Patty Smith. Then. Walking around the. There's an adjoining mall to this hotel. We're walking around there. Suddenly. There's Patty Smith again. There she is. It's Patty Smith. <gasps> Second time. When do you see her two times? Unbelievable. Then, then, I'm like, can you believe I ran into her two times? No, but then I run into her third time. She passes by in the hotel lobby. There goes Patty Smith again. She was playing that uh, that weekend in San Francisco. I'm not sure if she drove or she flew there. I'm not sure, but... See her third time. Then, and now the topic is going to come on the heels of this. I see her a fourth time. And I was going to get in the elevator a few minutes later, but she's getting in the elevator. I'm like, I'm going in the elevator. I'm going to say something to her. But I'm not going to say the usual thing that any dummy says to her. I'm going to say something to her. Original. And if you want a little foreshadowing, the topic for the rest of the night that's going to be on the table is called, I wish I could take that back. So I get on the elevator with her and I said to her, uh, I said, Hey, how was, how was the show uh, last night? Cause she had done two shows. I was like, how was the show? She's like, 
Oh, it was a great, great show. It was a uh, great show. Uh, you know, we played a long night. Uh, so I'm pretty, I'm pretty wiped out. This is just mortifying that I'm talking about this on the air. I might stop. So then I say to her, hey, can I, can I ask you a question, please? She's like, sure. And I'm like, did you ever see Humble Pie back in the day? And then she just looks at me like, a, like, like I'm the craziest of crazy people. And she says, nah, they were ahead of my time, which isn't true either. She just, and then I stammered something out about Steve Marriott. And then thankfully the elevator doors opened and I got out. Oh. So mortifyingly stupid. I went for it. And boy, did I. That was a, that was a swing and a miss. I don't know. I don't know, Mike. Mike, I don't know. I don't know why. Mike just said, why humble pie? Mike, I wish I knew. If I knew, I wouldn't have done that. If I knew, I would have said, I would have asked that to myself. What a dumb moment. I wish. And the topic. Mike, are you okay? He's choking out there. It was one of those things where you feel... You know that effect that's in like Vertigo, the movie Vertigo? That's, imagine that effect, but with Patti Smith staring at me. And then looking, Patti Smith, just as quickly, looking away. Unbe- I could not, I could not, but I was like, that was a Hall of Fame. I could have said anything to her. Anything I could have put points on the board. I don't know what I thought I was doing with that. Oh, did you ever see Humble Pie back in the day? What a... What Oh, oh my God. Oh, she looked at me like I was... I had to get off that. Uh, I don't even know if she got off first or I got off. I don't know. I can't even remember anymore. One of us got out of there as fast as can be to get away from the moment that I created. <laughs>